Hey guys, Brady here with Gearful, and today we're going to do a quick pack dump about what I would take on a spring bear hunt. So we'll start with apparel, and I'm going to start with the base layer. This is Sitka's Core Merino. Uh, I'm a big fan of their 120. It's very thin, dries out quickly, nice next to skin, and it seems to be holding up all right. On top of that, I'm absolutely going for the ambient. As you can see, it's quite worn, and there's a reason for that. This is for sure one of my favorite pieces. Over top of that, I'll go with the Grumman Down Jacket from Stone Glacier. Probably one of my favorite down coats just because of the all around weight. It's warm enough for those cold temps. Spring bear, you never really know what you're gonna get. So this is kind of a safety piece. Um, if it does drop hard, you get a little bit of snow. I know I'll be warm enough in that jacket. As I said, springtime, you don't know what you're gonna get. So I'm packing the M5 jacket. I'm not going to bring the pants, however, because I will be wearing the Stone Glacier Gators and the De Havilland pant from Stone Glacier. So this pant is gonna be thick enough to where it's gonna keep most of the water off of you. And in the event that you do hit a serious rainstorm, I am personally a big fan. Let's see if we can find it here. I'm a big fan of the poncho. So you hit those heavy rainstorms, you're normally not hiking. If you are, you're probably chasing an animal and you don't care if you get wet. Um, but a lot of the times that rain comes in and you're just sitting hunkered down. So throw a poncho on, you're good to go. Obviously, pack cover as well. Keep the rain down. Um, we can dive into a couple other accessories. We got what I would consider an essential piece for springtime especially, but anytime you know there's going to be water, potentially snow, I like to bring a nice thick butt pad. And in reality, you're going to be sitting on the hill as much as you're gonna be hiking. Keeps your butt dry, warm, and comfortable. So that's a huge win in my opinion. I'm still running my old crispy brick stalls. It's been almost four seasons with these boots and they've held up surprisingly well, honestly. It's about time for a new pair. So with some of their new 2024 models coming out, probably gonna upgrade here soon, but that's where we're at right now. Uh, Bino harness, got a range finder, extra blades for my knife and other accessories. And then I've been using the SIG stabilized binoculars. Huge fan of these, um, especially if you're trying to do like some quick digiscoping, but also when you're, you know, looking at spring bear, you're gonna be moving quite a bit. So I like being able to get stable glass. And honestly, even out of the truck, you have a chance with those binos. So if you're running roads and just, you know, looking at those logging roads, trying to see what's on the hillside real quick, that's an awesome option. Uh, one more thing I got on the table here is my camera. I am a photographer and videographer by trade. So unfortunately, that means I got to pack this everything everywhere I go. Otherwise I kick myself. We'll jump into the pack. I've currently got it set up for a backpacking option, but in all reality, most spring bear hunts are going to be from the truck. I do always like to come prepared though, because Sometimes you get there, you realize there's people everywhere and your best shot at finding a good bear is getting off the beaten path. So we got an assortment of peak meals. Let's see. The butternut dalbot is a sneaky favorite of mine. Throw a little bit of uh, curry and maybe some cayenne in there. It's real good. Sleeping pad, got a tent, bring in some extra steaks. Uh, especially if the ground is still frozen where you're trying to camp out. Having some extra steaks is awesome. Coffee cup, jet boil, got a couple spare coffee packets in there. Nothing is better on a cold, windy glassing session than a cup of coffee. Uh, I've got a little waterproof pouch here, lighter, spare headlamp, some duct tape, some e-tape, just little knickknacks that you might need pillow and some game bags, hoping that I will be successful. As you can see, those ones are still in the bag. <laughs> Haven't killed me in a little while and that's a little sad, but that's all right. Got some spare cordage and a, actually, this is a key piece to have when it's raining out, um, your optics get wet. It's nice to have something to wipe them off without damaging them, so. That's something that I've forgotten enough times to where I make sure I always have one. Front side, you got a spoon, 
another lighter. Um, for knives, I'm going to be running the new Tito hollow bone. It's got a little bit bigger blade and it's a replaceable blade. So it's just like your Havilon, but the blade should not snap quite as often. And I always like to carry a fixed blade as well. So this is the MKC Speed Goat. Um, lightweight, doesn't take up much room, and it's nice to have that spare in case you do go through all your blades. Or if you're just doing work around bone and stuff, I like to have a fixed blade knife personally. What else do we got here? For a tripod, uh, I'll be running the Tricer AD tripod with their new BP pan head, which I think is gonna be a pretty sweet option, uh, both for larger spine scopes and larger camera equipment, depending on what I'm up to. Nothing in that pocket. Things are falling apart here, JD. Okay, moving up to the lid of my pack uh, in the top side. I always like to keep my primary headlamp just because it's easily accessible. And I've found that a lot of times uh, I'll be lazy and not want to tear into my pack to get my headlamp, end up using my phone flashlight and draining my phone battery. And that's no good. Obviously some toilet paper couple little drink packs up here and that's about it in the main compartment uh, we got a neck gator I'm actually a big fan of these they're lightweight and they do add a lot of warmth nice pair of quick drying fleece gloves a couple snacks and the old in reach now if this were a real hunt I would have this top lid piled with snacks but for the sake of a gear dump and time Probably don't have time to go through everything, so figured I'd leave that out here. The last couple things, uh, I like to keep ear protection in my side pouch. I think I've used the decibels earplugs. I've used them for quite a while now, and it's nice to just have a option um, to protect your ears, honestly. Gearful Nalgene. And then in this side, uh, this is a piece I picked up last year. It's the Grail water filter. I'm actually a pretty big fan of it. Um, works pretty good as long as you're somewhere that has a fair amount of water. From what I've found that Idaho, Montana, Wyoming, spring bear, you're normally around some snow runoff. So that's a key piece to keep your pack weight down because you're able to pack, uh, because you're able to bring a water filter with you instead of packing all your water. In the top side, we've got a platypus pouch. And underneath this, I always keep a Sam splint. Never know when you're gonna need that. I just keep it at the bottom of my pack at all times. That way I know I'm not gonna forget it. Then my final mention will be a good first aid kit. I got a fair amount of things in here, key pieces being a tourniquet, some sterile gauze, a couple alcohol wipes, uh, some e-tape again, and a lighter. Just a little bit of stuff in case things go wrong. And some more toilet paper in case things go wrong. Two things that I forgot. <laughs> of course, you wanna make sure you have a sleeping bag. I've been using the Stone Glacier Chilkoot Zero Huge fan of that bag for honestly all conditions. I don't mind sleeping a little hot in a sleeping bag because I can just undo that side zip. So I like to go heavy on the sleeping bag, even if it's not gonna be that cold out. And then of course, the old trusty XO. I've been running the K4 for two years now, I think. And it is without question my favorite pack in terms of organization and comfort. So this thing's been killer. That should about wrap it up, turn into a bit of a mess, but like I said, this is gonna be kind of my standard kit for a spring bear hunt. Obviously, pieces vary hunt by hunt, and they can vary up to the day before you leave, depending on what the weather's gonna be. 
but this should be a pretty good overview of what I would take.